Got our uh, 16-inch widescreen baby over here. Now I think that's 13. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is hopefully going to be a big day for us because... We've had a lot of big days lately, have we? Yes. So we might be moving into our train three. Tonight might be the first night that we stay in the trailer. The only thing that we have to do, as I talked about in Monday's video, is we have to get an extension cord to be able to have full power. Right? Right? Right. So right. we need power to basically live in that thing, for the most part. Unless we don't need lights or microwave or fridge, fridge or we have electricity hookups We just need a cord that's long enough to reach the hookup itself. We do have water today We're gonna check on extension cord thing and see if the RV place in Buda has one if they do We're gonna go pick it up and then we're gonna take some stuff over tonight and vlog our first night in the RV So hopefully it's gonna happen big day Big day. Every day is a big day. Yesterday we sold all of our stuff and today we move into a tiny home. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. I hope you'll enjoy the adventures to come. <laughs> yes. Done. It looks like we got it guys. Is that it? Yeah. It's more expensive but it's a better one. Ugh. Uh, so I only got one I think I might just try to run it directly. How much was it? It's expensive. It's a little over. Oh. Wow. I was thinking I could have probably found it cheaper somewhere. Ah, but we need it. Yeah. We need it now. I gotta make a call, but I mean, I, I'm i gonna have my dad actually run out there right now and measure distances. Because right now we have we can reach 75 feet, but that would have to go direct now. So. But I can always walk back in and grab the other, the other one. $25. Find out. You had some trouble getting off the phone right now? What? Yeah. Are you filming me right now? Yes. Yeah. Back in you go. Yeah, back. One more cord. And we got number two. We got it. I feel like we just did this video. <laughs> number two. Now we're good. Can you bring the cord by your feet? Yes. Same volume. Does it feel like it's in? Oh. Alright, guys, here's the test. Where here's the light? Where here's the light? I wanna touch one. I can't see them. Ah! Here, I'll, I'll turn one on so you can turn the rest on. So you start turning things on, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. I'm gonna go turn the water on to you a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and run this up. What do I do the air on? Keep it on whatever it was on. It's off though, you see? So you put cool. Oh. <gasps> Auto. Is anyone? <gasps> Is there the fridge go. working? Yeah. Uh, you need to turn it on. Good boys. Ooh, that's cold. Ooh. We need this to be working. It's not cooled yet. I don't feel like this is working at all. Oh, well, it's gonna take a while. See, you don't you don't touch this. What is that? See, so you don't touch the water pump. Okay. Because that's only if you're pulling water okay. from the tank when it's filled. Okay. We're not filling the tank, we're actually hooking water up. That's also the tank. But here you go. So the water, electric heat. That's what we'll put it on if you need to take a shower. If you want to go ahead and just leave it on. I, I think you can leave it on. Um, can yeah. you leave it on? I believe so, yeah. Uh, but what I want to do is just double check. For right now, just turn it on when you need it. Okay. What do you think, my spice? What do you think? Yeah, y'all won't be in here for long. We're just gonna sleep in here and then y'all can play, okay? <gasps> oh, that's so fizzy. Is that normal? Just a little more air than usual in the, the line. Look, I set our clock. Our micro clock. Yep. 
Okay. I have to pee. I can't use this bathroom though. All right, so the plan now is to run back to the home and get stuff for tonight and food, dinner. It's 8.30 and we need to eat dinner. Um, we still have to get up really early in the morning, but we're gonna stay here tonight, right? At least so, at this point we are. I'd like to. I really wanna sleep on the bed. Um, and bonus, the lighting in here is so much better than it was in the other house. So that's nice. Look at that, look at the lighting. Okay, let's go get our stuff and then we will see you guys back here because we're gonna go home and get everything together in a frenzy. Um, oh, yeah. So we'll see you guys back here for dinner and the first official night in our RV. Yeah. All right, so we're in the trailer, obviously. Are you, are you okay, Matt? Frustrated? Yeah. Why? Fridge isn't that working. Yeah, so we turned it on whenever we left and the freezer is cool, but the fridge is not at all. I have a feeling this wasn't closed all the way because this was really hot. So we need this to be working. It's not cooled yet. So you think it's gonna work? So until then we can put stuff in the freezer. I got my coffee in there for tomorrow morning. What we're gonna do right now is we have all of our, this is some food for tonight and tomorrow. Um, Matt's got clothes, I've got my clothes for tomorrow, my work stuff, and then we have our pillows. So I'm gonna make some dinner and it kinda get stuff organized. The dogs are in their little playpen outside. Got, <laughs> this is our pantry. Got this stuff in here. Stuff for PB&J, we've got little sausage wraps, uh, my cashew milk, and then coffee for the morning. <laughs> Microwave works. I think. We'll see if the food gets warm. Did y'all have fun outside? Did y'all have fun? Because we still have a lot of stuff. It's still a good amount of stuff. And I mean, just right now, putting things in here and trying to get situated, there's like no space for anything. Um, the dog's bed is in here because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know what else to do with it. And their water bowl. We've got stuff here so it's nice it's a nice mess already I agree I really I like it though oh can we lock our doors yeah you can how do you lock it it's the red. locked locked but I will lock done we're safe guys don't worry and I have the whole place to myself wait a minute what's what are you doing in here? This is where the cool people are. You guys out. having fun in here? Yeah. Looks nice and cozy. Good party what you doing, Brady? I know what you're doing. That's for the morning. No, sir. No, sir. That's breakfast. You literally just ate. Come on, Ta -da. I don't know what to do with this thing. We got our dinner. What are you having? Not much. I'm having sausage wraps. 10.30. So good dinner time. I'm having on this lovely plastic ware. One of the bean pastas with sauce and kale. Your pansy. Just late night trying to pack everything in here. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to get over here this late, but as you guys have seen on the channel, we keep moving in late. I don't know why. Why? Why uh, would you doing that? The temperature's not bad in here. Oh, this is nice. It's quiet. It's cozy. It's quiet. The dogs are laying down. I have no complaints. You just have to walk a little ways to go to the bathroom. All right, bathroom break, and then we're going to bed. Pinch her out. For now. It's not going to go to the bathroom. 
Whatever. We'll go to the bathroom. She's gonna go with me. We're gonna yeah. have to take buddy trips to the bathroom. Buddy trip. Because it's not... We're not using the toilet here, obviously. I don't know if we told y'all. We're gonna be hooking up to the septic here, but it's not yet. So we're not we using took, the toilets We took at all. trench it out and put piping yeah, in and everything. it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a couple weeks. So until then, we're gonna be using the uh, house next door. Yeah. His parents' house. The, the neighbors. It's pretty cool. And then once we get the septic hooked in, that'd be good. Hashtag life goals. And then we get used to that, and then we start moving on the road. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then our home is everywhere. Apparently the fridge is starting to get cold. Yeah, let's keep it all the way closed. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna go to bed. First sleep in the RV. So um, I'll probably check in with you guys in the morning with follow up, maybe a little bit of workout footage, and let you guys know how the sleep goes. Good night. <laughs> Say good night, Buzz Buzz. Say good night, Brady. We'll figure out the the bedding situation for you guys. Maybe eventually let y'all have this, but for tonight. You okay? Good night, guys. Update: We made it through the night. Barely. <laughs> no, it was good. But, like once I got to sleep, I slept really well. Kind of. It was pretty fast. The dogs moved around a lot, though. We're just getting ready for the day, so we'll give you guys a summary in just a little bit. I just need to have my coffee and gather my thoughts. Wake up. Great. Check it, guys. So. Right before we close out this video, um, I'm gonna show y'all what we got for lunch. There's this place in San Marcos called Verts. It's a Mediterranean grill and we just tried it for the first time a couple days ago and we had their pita and hummus and it was so good so we decided to go back for entrees today. I wanted to show you guys what I got. You So basically it's like a chipotle but for Mediterranean food. So you pick the base and I got a quinoa bowl which there's quinoa under there and I added falafel, hummus, veggies, some type of, I know there are onions in there, some type of like slaw and sauteed other veggies. I don't know, I just checked a bunch of boxes. Matt got the rice bowl with falafel and the carrot slaw and some kind of spicy mix. And then we also got hummus and pita chips. So I'm pretty excited about this. Are you excited about this? I think so. I know you're- I don't really know what I ordered. Freaking hungry. So we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna talk to you guys our summary of our first night in the RV. So see you guys after we eat. So the first night? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's your response? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We watched Beauty and the Beast. I think it went well. Um, as you guys might have seen, we thought the fridge was broken, but it was really just the I didn't close it all the way, so. Oops. You do have to have it click twice. It's like the initial click when you close it, and then you have to push it even further in, and it clicks again, so. Just to be sure. Base is small. Is it? Yeah, I mean, it's it hasn't been an issue yet, but that was one night. Replicate that 364 more times. Right. And then we got a year. And then we have to do that for another day and Who knows how long? Time. I think uh, we just need to, I still don't feel like we're necessarily living here because there's so much of our stuff still at the other place. So we need to move that in this week. Well, not just that, we still don't have septic either. And so- Yeah. All in all, successful? Frustrating. A little frustrating at first. And that's partially just because the first thing that we got here, I heard the fridge wasn't working. So right off the bat. Ooh, spilled the dog food. Coffee in the grass. Pick that up one by one. First world problems, Matthew. I can go on. Seriously, but what else do you want to complain about? Oh, that's all. That's all for today. Wait till I, the next video to complain. I about. like. I don't know. I just like this the small small space. Like I like it. I think it it's cozy. I like just being all together in one spot. Um, in our house right now, in our rental home, we tend to like stick to our little quarters because his closet was downstairs, mine was upstairs. So he would be downstairs doing stuff, and I'm upstairs doing stuff, and so we would tend to, like... Well, and it would take forever. So, like, I get up and go to the bathroom, because like people do, right? Um, go to the bathroom, which is upstairs, and then start there, like, wet my hair, and I had to go all the way downstairs to do a few more things, and then back up, and then back down to let the dogs out, and then back up to get their bowl, because I always forget the bowls, and then back down to let them in, and then back up to feed them. And this was every morning, so... Now it's just like one little quick That's trip. That's it. We yeah. just, we take them outside, we put them in their little pen, let them... I get out of the bed, I walk through here, get ready, bowls, <laughs> done. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's gonna be great. I'm still like, it doesn't really feel real to me at this point. Um, do you need to go? 
and call him back. That's cool. Uh, it doesn't really feel real to me at this point, I think. I, I feel like it's going to be in a week or so we're just going to go back to normal. So it hasn't really set in that this is going to be our home. But I'm excited. And I know a lot of you guys are too. Um, yeah, I, and of course I, I really appreciate all of the the tips that you guys have been putting in the comment section. We've had a lot of encouragement and then we've had a lot of very helpful tips. So definitely keep those coming if you do um, know about the RV life, if y'all have any tips. Um, help. Help. Yep. Help. <laughs> We're still, this is, I, I think part of it is I'm like, I just don't know what I'm doing. I just don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, we. <laughs> you definitely don't. Yeah. I'm getting pretty close to figuring everything out. I'm worried about the China bombs now. Yeah, thanks. Whatever Tires that is. Tires apparently are very unsafe, so cool. That's great. I haven't heard anything about that except for this one person. Yeah, but have you researched it? No. Exactly. Yeah. So that's going to be the next thing we research is the tires and the tire pressure because apparently that's like a really important thing. Who knew the tires would be important, right? That was my last thought. Um, and I do have a good list of questions that we're going to be answering um, in a future in a future video. Very soon. Uh, just RV related questions. And yeah, that's I think that's going to be it for today. Cool. We had a pretty productive weekend. Yeah, sold all of our yeah. stuff and moved into our RV. So <laughs> thank you guys for coming Perfect. along. Thanks for joining the journey. Make sure and hit that thumbs up. Leave some comments below and subscribe if you are new. Just do it. Mm -hmm. mm. Bye.